Hey there Dytons, in this video I'll show you how to load um, your XML file onto your form using the form Dython XML integration. So let's first take a look at our um, XML file. So we have a breakfast menu, it contains food, it can have multiple foods in, in it, and we have name, price, description, and calories, properties. And what I've done here in the previous video, I already set up the form to be able to integrate with XML. Let's just review this real quick. So I'm going to click on the um, integration, push notifications, and select my XML. And I selected my node.xml template. And then I just mapped everything in here. So we have the food I mapped onto the food section. Since it's a repeated section, it can have multiple foods. Then I mapped it onto a repeated section. Then simply map the name on my XML to the name on my form, price to the price, description to the description as well, and calories to my calories on the form. And that was that. Then the next thing what you would want to do, so right now every time I will submit, it will generate the XML and I mapped it also to push to Salesforce um, as I've done in the previous video. In this video what I will do is take a already pre-populated XML data and I want to load this onto my form. So let me show you how we can get this done. So first thing I'll do is add a file upload. And let's do upload XML. And the next thing what we will do is add a button. And this button will be called, um, let's do parse. XML and the button type will be XML parser and the file upload will need to select which file upload are we going to take the file from so in this instance it will be upload XML hit save and let me show you what this does I'm going to refresh my form select my upload uploaded XML I'll select my pre-populated XML and select parse so I have two items on that menu so Belgian waffles and strawberry Belgian waffles. Um, so both were loaded. Now, once it's on your form, you can use it however you like. So for instance, you can create a form Titan push. Uh, if I'll head over to my Salesforce integration, set a push, let's do, uh, normally you would push this to your uh, menus and add menu items on there. But in this instance, let's just take the account object and we'll create new account and map the uh, let's do the food name onto the account name and let's do maybe we have a description we'll map the description onto that description and let's see which numbers we have here so let's map the number of employees to the price and the number of location to the calories just for the fun of it hit apply and finish hit save let's refresh our form i'll load my xml file again hit parse and let's submit <clears throat> let's head over to our integration logs and see what happened you can see i have two accounts created let's take a look all right so the account name is strawberry belgian waffles and if i'll head over to the details and search for the description there it is my description and the uh, employees is uh, I don't remember if it's the calories or the price but it's all on there just like how you would normally map your fields from cells from the for form Titan form onto Salesforce and then we have the other one as well by Jim Waffles and we got the description everything else works just as it usually does and this is how it's done